Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we are at Spa Francorchamps for the third round of the Belcar series in 2021. As you can see it is wet and we're uh, just heading out of the pit lane in free practice. I uh, just took over the wheel from my teammate who started free practice on slicks but then uh, yeah, obviously he had to come in as the rain started to fall down. Um, during this uh, outlap I uh, I told myself to take it easy as uh, it was my first lap in the wet conditions and uh, obviously I didn't know uh, what the track state was, how wet it was it going to be, uh, will there be standing water etc. So um, it's all about getting to know the track and getting to have a good feeling of, of how the car reacts in these conditions and then uh, hopefully uh, afterwards that we can do some uh, yeah, more laps and, and build up a rhythm and uh, see how it goes. Um, the real reason why I uploaded this video is not because of especially the wet conditions uh, itself but um, the combination with Spa and, and how, it, how quickly it can change over uh, the course of a few laps. Uh, as you can see it's, it's, yeah, it's wet, the track is damp but um, there's not a lot of standing water at the moment um, so um, yeah, not, nothing too much to, to worry about but um, yeah, you will see in the next couple of laps that uh, it can change very quickly at uh, Let's bar. I will fast forward now for a bit until we start the first flying lap. So here we are at the bus stop chicane ready to start our first flying lap trying to get off that slippery rubber line and uh, get some more grip out of uh, the slow chicane. As you can see the rain has started to fall down again and uh, yeah, this is where um, the tricky conditions will start. Uh, breaking for Lassur's hairpin back to second gear trying to stay with that rubber line as much as possible, hard on the throttle. As you can see the pink uh, double LEDs at the dashboard, that means that traction control is engaged. Um, so uh, yeah, the electronics have a lot of work to do in these conditions. As you can see a lot of standing order at the uh, bottom of uh, Fredion. Uh, trying to commit uh, as much as I dare there, uh, but um, since it's the first time I'm going up Fredion, it's, uh, it's always a bit uh, tricky and exciting. You never really know how much risk and, and speed you can take there in these conditions. Heartbreaking for um, Lecombe, back to third gear, trying again to stay off that rubber line and uh, trying to find a more grippy wet line. Uh, same here, short shifting to fourth to um, have some more traction. And staying off that curb as the, the paint can be very very slippery and wet. Breaking on the inside again to stay off that rubber line, going to the outside have a bit more grip, short shifting to third to keep the car as stable as possible. As you can see a lot of traction control even though we're running it rather low. Uh, outside line there and hard on the throttle again uh, out of uh, no name corner. Now we're heading on towards, towards uh, the double left hander uh, also called Pujon. Back into fourth gear, outside line again trying to find that grip and then this is the tricky part as you almost always come to the, the ideal line here where there's a lot less grip also a bit of standing order there it's still okay going to the outside of the uh, first corner of Pif Puff um, again staying on that outside line trying to come back to the inside to have a bit more traction hard and throttle again and braking hard now for Campus corner uh, as you can see a little bit of oversteer there and um, yeah, now you see that the rain also starts to fall down rather heavily. Here the rain was, uh, was falling down really really hard and um, it became pretty much undrivable. I, uh, I also stayed, stayed off throttle for quite a bit as I didn't want to take the risk to stay flat out and, and maybe start aqua planning and uh, maybe go off track because at those speeds there's uh, very little you can do if uh, something goes wrong. Here I'm turning on the rain light as I was uh, told on the radio that it, uh, it wasn't. And then we arrive at the bus stop chicane again, chicane again to, to start the second lap. Obviously with these conditions uh, no really fast laps uh, will be done. But um, yeah, let's just uh, try and get some, uh, some experience from this. As you can see a lot of standing water, a lot of steering wheel movement. That's not me but that's just um, yeah, the car that's, that's aqua planning uh, a bit. And braking again hard for last source hairpin. Again, a bit of sliding. And, uh, yeah, here uh, we are basically at the limit of how much water can be on a track before um, it becomes too dangerous. 
So enough with the talking for now. Let's turn up the volume a bit so you can enjoy a lap at spa at full volume. That was it for one lap at a very wet spa. Um, before we end the video, I uh, want to fast forward once, one last time towards some uh, yeah, very tricky moments uh, as this is the end lap um, because the conditions were really uh, even getting worse at the end. Here we are at the double left hander Pouhon, um, trying to follow a prototype, but um, yeah, since we are at su such a wide tire. Um, there's no way um, I could follow him without starting to aquaplant, as you can see here. Uh, just a small river across the track and immediately the car um, snaps at the rear. Um, yeah, as of, of here, there's so much water um, that it's bar barely drivable. Uh, still, very proud that I managed to, to keep it on track and um, that was a very, very uh, helpful experience um, to, to yeah, keep the car in control, as you can see here. It's basically floating towards pit lane, and all of a sudden here the car, um, out of nowhere, it snaps. Again, it's a very, very small river, but that's just enough uh, with these wide tires. And um, yeah, uh, this is uh, at around 110, 120 k to give you an impression. So uh, it feels like you're driving at the highway. Here we approach the end of the lap, and um, actually the worst is yet to come. Um, as you can see, the rain starts falling down again harder. And I knew I had to, to drop off some speed. Um, braking was not an option. As you can see, the car starts to aquaplan. Luckily, there's a lot of room on the exit, and I was uh, that I was quick enough in my reaction to, to keep the car with the nose in the right direction. 
but um, yeah, there's not much uh, more you can do in this uh, this kind of situation. In the end, I'm, I'm very happy and I'm very lucky to be able to to have driven in these conditions. Not a lot of teams would uh, would have allowed me to to do this, um, and wouldn't have allowed any driver to do this uh, because. Yeah, it brings quite a lot of risk with it, but uh, in the end it's also a very, very good learning uh, experience and uh, that's what I'm very great, really grateful for. In the end, the weekend even got cancelled. Uh, this was actually the last lap that was done uh, that weekend as the flood got even worse. There was a lot of mud, a lot of stones on the track and uh, parts of the track um, came up which uh, made driving impossible. They, they had to repair it, which uh, took them a couple of days. Um, so yeah, we, we didn't do the race that weekend, which is obviously a pity because Pa is such a great track, but um, that's also racing sometimes. Thank you very much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you soon again on the channel.